Something else that might be coming back, you know, in the near to not near future is Sherlock Holmes 3. Now, I want to talk about this for a second because the first two with Robert Downey Jr. RBJ. Uh, RBJ have been great. You know, they're awesome. I, I like them. They're a lot of fun. They're a little campy, Guy Ritchie movies. So, you know what you're getting yourself into when you see these. Great style. I love his style. But everybody keeps asking, like, where's that happening? Because they've been trying to shoot this since I mean, it's been like 10 years now. When did about the last 10 years? one come out, man? Yeah. Yeah, it's been, ten, well, it's been this, this has been 10 years in like wow. talking about 10 years, right? And now what he says, what Guy Ritchie is saying, hey, everybody, it's out of my hands because Robert Downey, Downey Jr. said he wants to be in charge of this, right? He wants the ball on his court. So he's in charge of the script. He's in charge of the whole thing. I've moonwalked out, he said, until there's a time for me to get involved. And apparently Robert Downey Jr. is still developing. He's in control of everything. So before mm. there was some motion, but then it stopped and there's some motion and it stopped. So for me, it's like, I think this movie should happen eventually, especially he just probably needs a break, Robert Downey Jr., you know, to be after being Iron Man for so long. He's probably just like, give me a break. This happened, I think it came out like before um, Infinity War. This one came out. It came oh, yeah. out like, oh, yeah. yeah, I think it was actually it was before, before. Yeah. I think it was between Iron Man 2 and Iron Man 3, I think this came out. The Dude, second I was, one. I was living in Hawaii in a coffee shack on the side of a volcano when that movie came out. Like, that was no, a totally know. different period of my life at that point. It, I didn't know yeah. that was a true story that you did that. So oh, that's yeah. fascinating. <laughs> I'm jealous a little bit because I love Hawaii. I went there for a week and I, like I just didn't ever want to leave. <laughs> it's 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 like one of the best places in the world. Gr, one of our star um uh, people in the chat here, our star viewers, he actually was there forever. He lived there for like four years, five years, oh, something wow. like that. Maybe long. He had a, he had a, he, if you, if you ever talked to him about it, he freaking loved it. He has a great stories about that. But yeah, so this is uh, this is something that's like it's very minimal news. It's something that's in, in out there. Guy, what you're saying, it could happen. Jake, is this something you want to see? Do you think that Robert John Jr. will actually do this eventually, or do you think this will probably just stick in limbo until, I mean, forever? I, I hope he does. I think it'd be kind of cool. Uh, do we have any examples of him, of any of, like, has he had this much control of anything else in the past that we have a reference to? I don't, like, so I we don't can think expect so. expect something, or it RD, could be. RDJ. It could be mm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it could be wild if, you know, if he's running the oh. whole show, so. And maybe it's one It'll of those be... things that he hasn't been that much in charge, so he's really taking his time with it, you know, because he wants mm -hmm. it to be a certain way. I mean, he's, he's not directing, but, you know, the thing is he's still got his hands in the script and everything else. And, you know, I, I imagine that he probably has a lot of stuff he adds to, to scripts as it is when he's part of it because he's so funny, you know? Sure, so, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, it's I think it's a good thing. I mean, I, you know, I think he does a great job in it too, and it's like, you know, I think they're – I mean, it's a good combination together too, and – you know, so I hope it happens. Mike, what do you think? Think this is going to happen or you think this is in limbo forever? You, you're, you make a good point, Brian. I think RDJ very clearly brings a lot of himself to the roles that, that he inhabits. And I think that that's probably a lot of what people are paying for when they when they call RDJ into a project. I was just looking today to see, like, on my Just Watch account to see if there were any Paul Thomas Anderson uh, projects that I'd missed out on. Apparently, there's the the documentary that he made about robert downey jr and his dad called oh yeah senior called senior it looks really good yeah that I, that I haven't seen yet and i put that on my short list right up at the top um the the first two sherlock holmes i mean dude they're they're popcorny but with that guy richie edge brian i know you love the uh the the sam raimi shot of like and then the zoom in like the action of like zooming in so it's it's so funny because over the past god almost 30 years now brian how do you feel about that over the past 30 years that's a standard sh establishing shot like in it's, terms it's of a a, in terms of an action movie like it's sad to even admit that like that that's a <laughs> that that's <laughs> part of the the standard sandwich board that they're, that they're putting up um, <laughs> but but yeah i mean RDJ is great. The first two are great. I don't know in terms of cinema, but I don't know that that's what he or Guy Ritchie or anybody that's involved with is trying to make. I think they're trying to make super fun movies. And yeah, both the first the two are two fun. We're successful. So mm -hmm. yeah, there's there's no reason why you would not make a third one of these. Like, and Jude Law was awesome in it too. You know, the two their exactly, combination yeah. was great. Yeah, yeah. You know, Jude yeah. Law be a down for this too. He'd be right back too. So. 
Yeah, and yeah. I, I, they, I'm sure that they would make it as easy on those guys as possible. It's not going to be really difficult shooting schedules. They're just going to be back to their trailer and then come out and then, okay, do their lines and then have some more carrot juice and go back into the trailer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Laughing the whole time. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody, Sherlock Holmes 3 is coming. I hope We hope it's coming, right? If it doesn't come out, well, it's very unfortunate, honestly, at the end of the day. But maybe this will be something that will be like, we're talking about a passion project for him, and he'll eventually get ready and he'll kick some ass and do it in between some other Avengers movie. But what do you think? Are you ready for some Sherlock Holmes? Hell yeah, we are. <laughs>